really turned into an excellent player. And it's intercepted to open up the game. Brandon Joseph, pick six, just like that. And you look at Joseph, whose eyes are on the quarterback the whole way. you got to be able to hand this ball off and run the football. Instead, he throws it right into Joseph, who's watching and going to cut and break on the route immediately. You just can't, under any circumstances, throw that pass. I mean, you saw it. He broke on it before his receiver broke on it. So just a really bad decision from Schrader, and he saw it too. That's what I just can't comprehend. He hesitated, squatted, and threw it anyways. Throw it in the dirt, completely taking away Tucker in the read game, but they need to be more creative in getting him involved in the pass game if teams continue to do that. Here he is on second and eight. His Schrader helps seal that edge, and Tucker with a good chunk play for the Orange. Schrader on second and seven. Looks left to the end zone. Touchdown, Orange, Aronde Gadsden. His sixth of the season. 53 yards, and Garrett Schrader just settles in and does that. Touchdown to Gaston. Second and four. They stick with it, and it looks oh too easy for Audric Estime and the Irish when they keep it north-south. Based on the defensive look, though, a pretty soft defense. I don't know if you want to try it there. Instead, they take advantage of the numbers, and here goes Diggs again. And between the tackles, they are just gashing Syracuse. Diggs. And he's in. Irish touchdown, Logan Diggs. <laughs> he's pretty well defended, as you can see. Syracuse holding on for dear life. But Diggs just squirms a little bit to the right and finds pay dirt. Second and four, Schrader, pressure up the middle, able to extend the play before eventually getting into the grasp of Foskey. And for Isaiah Foskey, that's now 22 and a half career sacks. Irish have had it their way between the tackles running the ball. Pine. Looking for an option and finding one with Colsey. Play action on first down. Look at the time he has. And it is intercepted. Jahad Carter. And he's got blockers in front as Carter takes it past midfield. And it's a golden opportunity for the Orange. All these defenders are getting. And guess what? You're going to see his back right out here in the flat, wide open. The guy's dropping out underneath Mayer, and you have a back. Your check down, you got to take the check down right there. When you see all these guys just turning with their backs to you, running out underneath, as you can see Mayer jumping up and tipping it. Tipped a ball that was intercepted not long ago. Second and ten. Delayed pressure. Pine going to go downfield. He's got his All-American. And it's into the hands of Michael Mayer. There's Tyree is the running back. Let's see if he gets the work. They have one timeout remaining. First and goal. Play action off of it to the end zone. Touchdown, Irish Jaden Thomas. Just beautiful design. You fake that, and then you just get one on one with your tight end there as the corner's kind of going to peek inside. Here's Diggs patiently waiting for blocks and just carrying Syracuse defenders ahead all the way to the 48-yard line. And they're just pushing those smaller guys, not allowing them to move. It's been difficult for the Cuse to defend. Estime again, this time off left tackle. It's another first down. The big running back from St. Joe's Regional, a record-setting place kicker at Arkansas State. And he adds to the Irish lead. Del Rio Wilson with time and gets it complete to Gadsden. Their best weapon on offense, finally with a chunk play. Just what they needed as Carlos Del Rio Wilson with a spark for the Orange.
30 yards to Ronde Gadsden. Del Rio Wilson, this time he's going to be brought down as that pocket collapsed on him right away. The defense has had a difficult time stopping the Irish already. I think he needs some touchdowns to get back into it. 54-yard attempt for Schmidt is good. Dropping eight. Pine with plenty of time on third and seven. Coverage downfield, and then he swarmed. How did he even hold on to the ball with gear crashing down on him? They got pressure, is picked up. Del Rio Wilson on the run, gets it complete as he goes to Alford. Big target downfield at six foot six. The real Wilson with time, good arm, and inside the 10. He just fired that to Demarcus Adams. He is spinning it. First and goal. Tucker, can he get there? Yes! And that train horn sounds a little louder now, doesn't it? Right here, a little handoff on the sweep, and Tucker gets to the edge couple defenders kind of lurking inside anticipating inside run well, the running game starting to come alive a little bit now with del rio wilson doing some of the work first down to pass again batted in the air and an interception a diving effort from leofow maris leofow with the pickoff third and six Drop back Pine to the outside, and that is caught for an Irish first down by Colsey. Estime, 17th carry of the day, and it's a touchdown. 11-yard touchdown run from Aldrich Estime. I love it a lot, especially if my tight ends block like this. Look at the right-hand side, Evans. Look at how long he has to hang on that block. Driving the defender off the ball. Brought down right away. That was Foskey. He's a heck of a player, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Fifth Syracuse, three and out. Their sixth punt today. Oh, it is blocked. It is blocked again. Notre Dame with another blocked punt. Time and again, this is happening. And by the way, that was James Williams, the puncher there, as Notre Dame takes it in for the touchdown. As quickly, Estime just puts it right in. So James Williams came in to punt for Von Marburg. Look at the time he has and gets it complete to his big target, Gadsden. It takes the defender right to it. So they call it offsides, and it's third down and five. And wide open at the 15-yard line is Gadsden. And now the fade. And in the end zone, it's a touchdown to Demarcus Adams. There's some fight and some talent with Del Rio Wilson that you're seeing here in this second half. Defender there. Lewis, it's almost like he was playing for the back shoulder. Did he step out of bounds prior to that? Oh, that that's... was close. It was close. Look, this is a team that's very physical. It's going to be a war. It might not necessarily as the backup quarterback now in for the Irish. And all you have to do is hand off to this guy. Estime adding to his big day. And Steve Angeli is the true freshman quarterback who's in now to close out this game. Well, that's something that they'll start with in film room tomorrow when they get back to work. It's, man, hey, we did it. We figured it out at the end. Rupi will just tack on three more. 41 to 24 is what this looks like. Very, very interesting. And that's really the last big hurdle for the Clemson Tigers en route to a potential 12-0 season. And Botello gets to Del Rio Wilson. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what Notre Dame does from here. I think they are a dangerous team, especially when you look at what SC has potentially in front of them and what Clemson has in front of them.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.